my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper and we are doing day three of 30 days of sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Go and check out Christy's Facebook group. You can get the sketches. You can play along. I would love it if you played along and have so much fun, not to mention inspiration. There's a playlist for YouTube creators who are also doing 30 days of sketches. It is so fun to see the same sketch done many different ways. And you can click on the playlist that Christy took the time to create, which thank you, Christy. And they'll just keep playing. I, I love that. Like, I think that's probably my favorite part. I don't have to go seek them out. They're all in one spot. Okay, so let's just have some fun. Here is today's sketch. It is by Debbie Norton Burton. Um, it is, looks like three photos off to the side, one in the middle, you could do some mixed media. Uh, you can probably already see that I've torn paper thanks to a scrappy friend because I was kind of stumped. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I was chitty chatting with one of my besties and she said, you could just tear the paper. Huh, a light bulb went on and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So that's what I've done. Now, if you watch me do the page kits, you already know that this is an Echo Park. Let's see, Echo Park, Echo Park, uh, Winter Magic is the name of it. And I have my photos. We are doing, um, this is also a piece of memorabilia. It was, let me see here. Let me get this for you. I'm showing you, you can use everything. So <clears throat> when I made this page, it was this page, I needed to finish it. This is one of my unfinished projects as well, just like yesterday. And this, we bought the picture and that was the picture in the frame that I just showed you on the la other layout. So on the back of it, it had I Scalered of the Rockies that was in Denver featuring Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And so everything was made of ice. So I just cut this out and corner round it and I'm going to use that on my layout. Okay, I'm gonna use some embellishments too. I wanna show you how I did the interpretation of the sketch. So I have a, um, Oh, what is this called? Just a cardstock, right? This was just the Cartabella um, Winter Market cardstock that I had in the kit. Then this is actually from Winter Magic, okay? And that's the B side. I took the middle of it so I could map my photos, okay? I'm trying not to say gut because I know, <laughs> I know some people don't like that. And I just ripped the edges of this all the way around. Then I took this paper. Okay, it was another piece of the winter market cardstock and I ripped the edges of that just as well. I'm gonna tell you it's hard for me to rip cartabella paper. <laughs> yeah. Then I took the middle of this paper and I have matted this photo and ripped the edges of that as well. So that is my interpretation of the sketch. Now she has a tag and she has the beautiful title and all that. I don't need a big title on this one. Plus my memorabilia is the title for me. Um, now she has her photo over here. I'm going to put mine here um, because I want mine to flow this way due to the fact that it's going to sit right next to this one. At the end, I will do, I'll show, I'll come back when I show both of them together. I didn't do that yesterday. I apologize. Then I have, oh, Mr. Bumblebee or Humble Bumble, I think is his name. And I also have, this is a picture of it's, they're not the best quality photos, but I've told you guys before, I don't care. This was inside, it was dark in there because it was all ice, it was tunnels. And this is like a castle entrance. And then this is me, Jill and Jason. I know you probably cannot view those photos very well. Um, for that, I apologize, but I don't. I do, but I don't because I want to put them on my layout. All right, so she has her photos and stuff overlapping. I don't know if I can do that or not. I could, if I go like this, maybe. Kind of want this one this way. I could do both of them that way and put this up on foam. Mm, okay, I think that's where that's gonna go. I'm fine with covering that. I have several different photos and I could bring it up just a little more if I wanted to, like that. And I definitely will make sure that it's not covering his head even bring it down just a little more. So that will go in that manner, just like so, okay? And from there, I've been inspired, so I'm gonna set the sketch aside because that's all the sketch is. It's just to inspire you, you do it your way, okay? Now, I don't know, I have kind of planned this because <laughs> you can see it's almost full, right? 
So I had to think about it. Plus I wanted to use um, a bunch of you have sent me over the Christmas, sent me Rudolph embellishments. I love this movie. Like it is my favorite movie. I, instead of like a village, I do Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for decorating. Like I have the whole scene. I've been collecting them for years. So Miss Barb sent me um, this beautiful book and I did this in a Happy Mail share. And in there, look, was a humble bumble. Isn't he cute? He just makes me laugh. I just love this movie. And then here's the little elf. So that pulls his tooth. You know how that story goes. I'm going to put those two down there. Again, I did kind of plan this already ahead. I had to. There wasn't enough room. I tried to maybe get Rudolph in there, but that wasn't going to work. It was too much. But I'll use them later. I have lots of photos. Then I have this Christmas tree from a swap. Honestly, it might have been part of Secret Santa. I'm not 100% sure. And I think what I want to do, okay, I'm going to pull all this down. Now, this is as much trial and error, really. I know he's going here. I just don't know exactly where, okay? Have him go kind of in an angle. This one will have to go up on foam because the tree is already on foam. Now, I'm not 100% on the tree yet. I'm just not. I like the tree. I don't know that it wouldn't look better without the tree. Maybe. Hmm. Because I want, I want all of the embellishment in there. I love it so much. Maybe. Let's see. And then just, it's okay if we cover his hand a little bit, but boy, I don't want to. I really don't want to. This is the cutest thing. I don't know if you guys can see the texture in this. Look at the texture. I just love him. He brings me so much joy. Hmm. Let's see here. Maybe like that. Yeah. I don't know about the tree though. I wonder if I could take this foam off. If I could take the foam off and I could just tuck it behind there. Now I've told you guys lots of times. Once the embellishments get to you, they're yours. Do with them what you want. Okay. All right. I got that all off. <laughs> yes, so here. So I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't think so much. I don't know. <laughs> it's dangerous around here when I start thinking. Just like so, maybe. Kind of like that. And then him here. Up on foam. Just like that. I do. I like that. Okay. And then I thought, well, I need a little sentiment. So, and don't worry. We're going to put some snowflakes on here. Um, I need a little sentiment. So maybe I could use the branding strip and just do winter magic. Because my title really is here. So I was thinking maybe looking like he was holding it even. I don't know. Let's, let's. Um, I don't like those scissors. Let's, I need to throw, I have some We Are Memory Keeper scissors and I just don't like them. They don't, they're, I think they're dull. I asked some of my scrappy friends the other day, I'm like, you ever had to throw away fussy cutting scissors? Unanimously, it was yes. I guess I'm cheap because I don't want to. Okay, so what if we put that there? Hmm, I don't know if I like it there. I don't. I could do here, here, maybe put it up here. Whoops. That might, I'm okay with that. Maybe. That's a maybe. Okay, so I have some brads. We'll just let myself marinate on that. And I have some snowflakes. I've had these for years. You guys know how that goes. And I'm thinking we're just going to put some snowflakes around, right? I mean... Gotta have some snowflakes. Uh, or I could go like this and then put this one. But see, this is gonna be up on foam. I could tuck it in there though and have it like half in, half out. Yeah, so I'll play with those snowflakes when I glue it down. They are going to go over here. I have these little tree brads too, which I wasn't planning on using, but what if I were to stick them like a little cluster like four or five of them coming up here is that. So maybe 
then that would give this kind of a base. And I will pull everything down. I know it's all smushed together and not straight and all that good stuff. But definitely, oh, look, that's a different one. Oh, there's different trees. <laughs> oh, let's just play some more. Oh, yeah, I could totally interact those. Okay, there'll be trees up there. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's well stayed. Mayday, mayday. Yeah, okay. So I could... Definitely do that. I will most definitely ink that. It'll make it help it stand out. And you guys, I think that's the page. I will try to put some more snowflakes in or around. Maybe put one over here. Now, they may not be quite visible, but maybe put one down here. I wonder if I shouldn't just do snowflakes around this and not over here because they don't like they don't have a huge presence when they're against this paper here. So, and I've said this before, I will probably ink, and here's why I ink snowflakes and things. I had somebody ask me once because <laughs> I lived in Montana. Snow is not pure white most of the time. Snow is dirty. I'm just saying, <laughs> just, just for the record here. <laughs> okay, so probably five. One, two, three, four. That would be five. Okay. I think I'm just going to do snowflakes around here and I may add a few more, take some away. I don't know. I'll play with that when I glue it down. But it's definitely going to be in that way. I like that. I really, really like it. I think it's cute. It's a little busy, but so is the other page. So <laughs> if you're going to go big, go big. <laughs> I do have the same enamel dots that I have on the other layout, which are red and this um, green. So I will play with those as well. Maybe put a few here and there. Um, and I will go pull it together. We'll see what I can come up with. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, I got it all glued down. So this was the sketch, okay, from Miss Debbie. Thank you so much, Debbie, for your beautiful sketch and this is the layout that I came out with. It's going to go with this one. I'm just showing because I said that I would. Now I added some enamel dots and when you look at it together it makes more sense, right? The green it just kind of flows. I did some things different. Maybe you've already noticed. All right I did ink the edges. I used an aqua color to kind of tie this in here. I Decided not to put the piece of sentiment up here, but I put it down here instead. I took the foam off of here and glued down. That's good. And then I just did the snowflakes throughout over here. So really, my embellishment is this way. It's like an L instead of a triangle or anything. But next to this, I think it flows much better. Much better. I like it anyway. And that's what matters, right? It's my page. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a very, very, very blessed day. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. And with that, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.